Daddy, do you think all them nice people is going to whoop this little Australian American? You're wrong, Big Daddy, but that ain't what's going to happen. What's going to happen? You're going to eat the dog food, punk, because this boy can't help you. And I'm saying boy with a capital B, Brick Health Brown. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Bill Dundee. You can do a lot of talking and a lot of walking because you'll be doing a lot of running because there won't be less on me when I run, brother. And when you finish, you can go back and do it all your standing parts for the little rascal roles you did as a kid. All right, the Wheel of Torture match is coming up. We'll be back right after this. In the ring right now, Greg Jones and Ed Maddox. Together, they weigh 402 pounds. Maddox from Memphis and Greg Jones from Arkansas. They're going to be battling the rock and roll RPN. RPN is up on ringside right now. This match is going to be a one-fall, ten-minute time limit match. Rock and roll RPMs are Mike Davis and Tommy Lane. And who's going to start? It looks like Ed Maddox will start for his team. Tommy Lane for his. And get the bell to ring here. We'll be in great shape. So Jerry Calhoun watches everything now. Here it's got. Ed Maddox, boy, in trouble from the opening bell there. This rock and roll RPM team, a, a tough, tough team. Boy, we've seen them in action here for some time now, and they are impressive every time they step in the ring. Don't like their tactics all the time. Matter of fact, most of the time. But they're tough. Uh, might have been able to go for a three count there. We'll never know because Mike Davis picked him up. Upper arm by Tommy Lane. Here's a cover. Might be. Yep. Down to one. Oh, look at this, Jack. Oh, yeah. That head right into the bottom of both boots. I don't think that's legal, but Calhoun apparently doesn't know it. I don't know. Boy. Yeah, Mike Davis drops down with the lower leg. He's using that leg to choke Ed Matt. Yeah. That's what he was doing. Referee did stop that. Tag made by the Rock and Roll RPMs. There they snap suplex by Tommy Lane and Ed Maddox. They have a tough time getting up from that one. Tommy Lane doesn't go for the cover. He was uh, showing off for the fans. Boy, here finally bit. got a tag. Finally got one. This is Greg Jones out of Arkansas. And he's not doing a whole heck of a lot better than Maddox was doing. Maddox and Jones just outmanned here, at least so far in the match. Jones took a shot to the rib cage there. That, that's dirty pool, huh? Yeah, he, he used the fist, uh, no doubt about it. He just doubled it up and popped it. Snap suplex again. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, about great Scott. Flying clothesline yeah. by Mike Davis. Might be it. Should, I hope it is. Get yeah, count of three, that's it. Uh, I, I think you got it right, Jack. Good thing there, too. Yeah, they, uh, As uh, the Rock and Roll RPMs, Mike Davis and Tommy Lane, get the victory here over Ed Maddox and Greg Jones. About three and a half minutes, the match went, and it was all Rock and Roll RPMs. Neither Maddox nor Jones were really able, really able to compete uh, with the Rock and Roll RPMs that much. We'll take another break. We'll be back with more in the ring in a moment. Keith Eric. Yeah. Keith's in here right now. All right. You hear the music. That means the Nasty Boys are headed this way. Keith Eric, that's his best kept secret. Huh? That's what he's got on his t shirt. Here they come. Here they Robertson and Keith Eric both jump. Robertson thrown out of the ring. Jerry Sag drops down with a big broad arm across the back. Look out. 
battling on the floor down here. In the ring, Brian Knobs working on Keith Eric. Keith out of Memphis, Tennessee. Keith Robertson also out of Memphis, Tennessee. And the Nasty Boys out of Allentown, PA. Now, Robertson left on the floor down here. And both the Nasty Boys working on Keith Eric. Eric. Double drop. A cover by Brian Knobs. Two. Over. Yes, sir, it is over. 48 seconds, the official time on it. The Nasty Boys got here in a hurry. They left in a hurry. And they take a victory with them as they go. Keith Eric and Keith Robertson. Boy, they've got to feel like they were hit by a chainsaw as they came rolling in here. Look, you see the double up here. As they pick Keith Eric up in the air, they drop him down. Jerry Sag backs out of the way. Brian Knox covers. One, two, three. The referee counts. And Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sag, the Nasty Boys, have themselves a victory in 48 seconds. Things happen. Hey, that was so close, so <laughs> quick. Let's go ahead and get another one. How about here. that? Hey, we got another one standing by? Get some more action. And Let's boy, go. We've got a guy coming in here right now, half of the Kansas Jayhawks. A lot of you wrestling fans are familiar with him. Talking about a guy who weighs in about 285 pounds, Danny Bobby Manny. Jagger. Oh, Bobby, oh, coming nice. in here. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. That's William the Freezer Thompson up in the ring right now, and Bobby Jaggers will be coming in to face him couple of big guys here oh he brought a bull whip with him got a bull whip Great and shot. he steps up on the ring apron jaggers again out of kansas city kansas now jerry calhoun ought to get that whip out of there because that's going to become involved in this match you uh, mark my word well it's uh, it's in a dangerous place a great sure hanging outside of the ring there warm-up jacket and the hats are gone jerry go. calhoun says let's go and we're off Bobby Jagger, boy, he is a big guy. He actually weighs a little more than the freezer does. Now, the freezer, maybe not quite as solidly built as uh, Jagger's. Jagger's dropped down with the upper arm. The referee was maybe questioning if it was pointing oh, the elbow. Jagger says, uh, don't worry about it. I just dropped down on him. Picks Thompson up by the hair. That was a right fist. That was not legal. Bobby Jagger, oh. freezer, hammer. Well, that, that's right across the bridge of the nose, too. Yeah, that's smart. Four that's smart. Across the bridge, and, and who knows what's in that arm pad he's got there. Come on, too. William, get going. Thompson, back on his feet, not for long. Big broad arm. Hey, look at Thompson battling back. Jagger's popped him with both hands, though. Hit him, William. Thompson, wow, he takes a close line, oh, count as one, on. two, this one is over, an impressive debut for Bobby Jaggers, Bobby Jaggers gets the victory over William the Freezer Thompson in one minute, ten seconds, one See, ten, now, look out, Jaggers that got yeah. that bull yeah. whip, come on, yeah, Jerry Calhoun steps in between him while Thompson gets out of the ring, Jaggers still hanging on to the bull whip, and that's it, a minute ten seconds, the victory for Bobby Jaggers, we'll be back in a moment. Olytic, Indiana at the Olytic uh, Community Center Thursday, September 17th. Championship Wrestling will be there. You buy your tickets in advance and you will save $1. Also coming up on Friday the 25th, Madisonville, Kentucky at Browning Springs Middle School. But coming up in Evansville, Wednesday night, September 16th is the day. Go ahead and mark it on the calendar for Wednesday night. Wheel of Torture matches. Be there on time. You'll want to see the mighty Goliath, the big guy, taking on Tracy Smothers. Billy Travis goes against the back Prince. Rock and roll RPMs against John Paul and Jerry Bryant. Rocky Johnson goes against Big Don Bass. Mid-America title match. In this one, it'll be Jeff Jarrett going against King Carl Fergie. If Jarrett loses, this gives you some idea of the Wheel of Torture matches. If Jarrett loses, he has two dozen eggs thrown in his face. On the other hand, if King Carl Fergie loses, he has to run through a 20-man belt line 
of fans, the Wheel of Torture matches. All of these matches will be Wheel of Torture matches on Wednesday night. The Southern Tag titles will be on the line as the Nasty Boys will be going against Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka. International title on the line, superstar Bill Dundee will bring the belt down there and put it on the line against Big Bubba. If Dundee loses, not only does he lose the belt, he also was run through a 20-man belt line of fans. If Big Bubba loses, he has to eat right there at ringside a can of dog food. The Wheel of Torture matches coming up Wednesday night in Evansville. Billy Travis is involved in one of those against the Black Prince. And here's a word from Billy right now. Hello, Evansville. You know, I had the pleasure earlier in the week to spin the Wheel of Torture. Mine ended up the same as the Prince, Brickhouse Brown, eat a can of dog food. Well, Brickhouse, I'd like to explain something to you. I'm sick of you interfering in matches. My matches, the Nasty Boys matches, everybody's matches. So you think you're going to make me eat a can of dog food? You're full of you know what. Because Brickhouse Brown right there at Evansville, Billy Travis is not going to lose that match, and he's going to make you eat a can of dog food. Expiration of time, tag team action yeah. coming up.